Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Rock Labradoodles. It's Alana here from Big Rock Labradoodles, your kick-ass breeder of Australian Labradoodles, with our guest, Hera, who you've seen before. If you were with us in the last video, our brushing and dematting video, this is where we're at now. She's 100% brushed out and dematted. I can go through her, like I mentioned, with the stainless steel comb. Sorry, I've tried cutting some of her hair. Uh, I can go through her now with the comb and I can get through no problem. So now we are on to clipping. So here I have, what, what machine is this? I have the Oster Professional 2 Speed. And this, I have a 30 blade on here. 30 blade attachment. Or, uh, blade, 30 blade, right? And then this is an inch and a half comb, metal comb. Okay, oh, I just came out of plug. Just give me a second here. I probably need to actually pull the tape a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, we're back. Sorry for that blip. I had to pull the tape a little closer because my cord wasn't long enough. So like I said, this is my Oster Professional 2-speed and I have a 30 blade and an inch and a half guide comb, metal guide comb. That is an Oster product as well. So I'm going to turn that on. I'm on speed 2 and I'm just going to start going through the coat. So see what I mean? Because I've done all that work with the dematting. I can just come through this coat like nothing. And that is your goal. So I don't want to take a lot of length off of Hera because I really like her in a long full coat. But it's getting rid of that, just like human hair, when you know our ends get kind of frazzled, that's the same for these guys when you've grown them out for six or eight months. Just taking off that fuzzy, you know, crap at the end makes a big difference in how they look. So I'm going to go through Hera with this inch and a half comb. And the way I like to do my doodles is one length on the body and another length on the legs. So I'm going to, a longer length on the legs because I like a bit of that stovepipe or cylindrical look on the leg. It makes them look more balanced overall. So I'm doing an inch and a half on here. I'm double checking that I am. Yeah, inch and a half on here. And then I'm going to come back with a two inch guide comb on the legs. That's going to give me that nice uh, symmetrical look overall for the dog. And I'm going to show you once I've done that, how to blend the shoulder and the hip into the body with your curved shears. So when I'm using this, I'm only going to go to about here and pull away. If you've ever watched your hairdresser cut your hair, it's no different. So come down and pull away. You want to think of this shoulder and the hip as like a 1950s swimsuit. Where it's going to come along the body and just give a nice reveal on the shoulder and the hip without being too sexy. So you got to just think of that sort of shape. So you're going to come down and out. And then you have enough hair left when I come in with the shears to blend this length with this length. So we'll pause for now and we'll come back and show you how to groom that uh, hip and shoulder with the curved shears. See you then. Okay, so we're back, and I have gone through Hera's body with the 1.5 inch uh, attachment, which is this one here, by Oster. I've gone through her legs. This is, it's huge. <laughs> this is the two inch Oster uh, guide clip attachment. This, uh, the Oster blades will fit on any wall groomer as well. 
And remember, I'm using a 30 blade on the uh, clipper itself. In order to get a true guide length from your combs, you have to be using a 30 blade, okay? I'm also using the wall blade ice very regularly as I go along shaving because the blades get really, really hot. It's not as big of a deal when you're using such big guide combs, but when you're using shorter guide combs or if you're just using blades themselves, you can burn your dog really quickly if you're not keeping those blades nice and cool. Ultimately, you're gonna to wanna to have more than one of each of your blades that you use regularly if you're doing home grooming. Um, but even then, you need to be using the blade ice and you need to be uh, using blade oil uh, in, in your blades in between the, where, the, uh, where the action of the blades is, right in here, you wanna be oiling your blades as well. That's to protect your dog and to protect your equipment. So this is Hera's finished product here with the legs and the body. And now I wanna show you how to take your curved shears and blend this longer hair with this shorter hair here, okay? Anyone who's got any hairdressing experience is gonna find this really easy, but anybody else, this is a good trick. So we're gonna comb the hair upward, and you can see right away that this hair is longer than the body hair. It's only a half an inch difference, but you can see it. So we're gonna take our curved shears, And we're going to start at the top of the body and go down toward the hip so that we can blend that hair. This is how I do ears as well. I comb the hair upward and then I come back with the curved shears. Just a bit of extra fuzzy there I'm taking off. So that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna comb out any loose hair there and comb back up just to double check. A little bit more. By combing the hair upward like that, and then working your way back down toward the leg, you should not see any scissor marks. You don't want to see scissor marks. It might happen while you're learning, but once you get the hang of it, and I'm just kind of going down a little bit further to take anything that's just standing out funny. Ultimately, the, the goal with the Australian Labradoodle cut is you want it to look like it grew that way. That's why you don't look at that. You don't want to see any harsh scissor marks. Isn't that nice? All blended together nice. You can't see where that longer hair and that shorter hair meet. So that's the goal. So I'm going to do the same thing with the shoulders and all around her body. Then we're going to come back and show you how to groom the feet. Okay, so I've blended Hera's hips and Hera's shoulders. And now I'm going to show you how to groom the feet. Obviously these feet are a little too much <laughs> for anybody. So Hera's a pretty good girl. I'm taking my curved shears and I'm going to find the base of the foot, go underneath at an angle. I'm like this, not, I'm not like this. Okay. I'm at an angle against the natural curve of her foot. Oh, that's a good girl. And I'm just going to go around all the way around the foot, change. So I was like this. I'm going to change positions in my hand. So 
okay. If you've got a dog that's really funny about their front feet, which a lot of them are, I'll hold up the other foot while I do this foot, just so they don't dance on me. Switching hands again, switching the position of my scissors again to get in the back here. Getting rid of all the really long hair because then we're going to go in with our clippers. Can you, sorry, my head in the way? Can you, can you see? So there's a lot of long hair there on the foot that we're going to have to come back and get rid of with our clippers. Okay? But as much as you can get rid of with the scissors first is, is good. So there's a nice clean foot. A little bit more there. Good girl hair. Just play with the hair. See how it lays. You want that to be nice and round. So when you look at it from the front, see the difference? You got this hair that collects all the dirt. And this foot here is quite a bit more tapered. And it's tapered toward the foot. So it's shorter underneath which is important. I'm getting her claws there, so we're gonna have to deal with those as well. There, that's quite a bit nicer as far as how much dirt she's gonna be able to pick up. You see that? Nice and tapered around her foot. Now I'm gonna take my clippers and I need to change my blade. So just give me a sec. Okay, so I've switched to a 10 blade. You don't want to use a 30 blade under their feet or in their sanitary areas. It's just too close of a clip and you risk cutting their skin, okay? So I'm putting it on high power. I'm going to pick up the foot. Oh. I'm in the way. And I'm just going to, I'm barely going inside the pads. Sorry if it's hard to see. I'm just taking out some of that hair because the goal is to have their feet hit the floor, their pads rather, hit the floor without all that hair in between because that makes it slippery for them. So in between, yeah, they don't love it. They don't, I'm not going to lie, they don't love it. It really helps if you have a grooming table and straps such as I do to keep them in place, Hera. Good girl, Mama. Good, Hera. Good girl, baby. There are other attachments you can get for your clippers that are meant to go in between the toes. They're a little bit more dainty. I'm not a full-time groomer, so I just, I haven't done it. Hera, you can get away with this for sure. You need to be gentle. You don't want to be too gougy, because you will cut them if you're really gougy. Hera, good girl, mama. Hey, good girl. And then I want to go up in behind this back paw, this back pad. Tara. Up. Up, mama. Up. Good girl. This big pad here, I want to go up a little higher in behind there. Because that really touch all that hair really touches a lot of mud and ice. We're just going to go a little higher in there. Tara. Good girl. That's my good girl. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Like I said, they don't love this. Hera. Let's just get through this one, sweetheart. Okay, so you don't need to do a whole lot more than that. Let's have a look at it. Up, oh, sweetheart. Good girl. So we've cleaned out some of that in between hair. It's pretty flush with her pads, so she's going to be able to grip the floor without all that hair laying over her pads. 
And we've gone a little bit above this big pad here because that hair grows long and, and over top and collects a lot of mud, dirt, debris, and ice. So that's a nice clean foot pad for you. When you put it back down, you see we haven't changed. Come over here, please, honey. You see we haven't changed the look of the foot. We haven't come up above the pads of the foot to interrupt the haircut that we gave that foot. Okay, so next I want to show you the sanitary groom. So if you want to come back here, I'm going to give this a shot of the blade ice to cool it down and oil it. And you don't want to go in that back end and give them a nice burn. Okay. When I groomed the tail, you hold the tail underneath the body. And whatever you're grooming the back as, you come down like this. That's how you groom the tail. And then the long hair, the longer hair of the tail starts. Okay? That's how you do that. You tuck it underneath, you come down the back and straight. Don't go under straight and fall off with your clippers, okay? Just down and off. Okay? And then here's our sanitary area, which you can see Harris had regularly. So you need to come up to about here on the tail underneath the tail and we're gonna you know kind of do an area like this like a like a landing strip <laughs> we're not gonna take it completely bald because it's a it's a 10 blade not a 30 but you want this hair short because it it collects urine and feces right and we we don't want that so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on Gentle, very gentle, just like humans, that area is not uh, completely smooth, okay? So we're going to take that area out there and then take a little break and then come down to the, uh, the urinary area. We don't want to make an entire bald strip, it looks quite funny. So underneath and down the inside of the leg because that's where their urine is going to get caught okay i'm sure i'm making this look entirely too simple But there we go. Move it right there. So we have a nice, we have a nice shape there. Hugs the inside of their leg. Got a little bit of extra hair there for modesty. And then we've cleaned up the uh, the anal area there. So all of that is nice and clean. For boys, um, it's not a whole lot different. The tail is no different. The anal area is no different. You still want to leave a little patch of modesty in there. And if you can, leave it long enough to sort of cover the bag. And then you'll go underneath and remove some of the hair around the underside of the bag. And then you'll come underneath in the tummy area and shave off the underside or the, I don't know what you want to call this, this area of the, the penis. And the tip, if this is the tip, you want to kind of shave along here and then out this way toward the tummy. You don't want to leave it too short in there. You want to leave a little bit of hair because that hair actually encourages the urine to drip away from the, uh, the sheath. And that prevents any urine going back in and giving a urinary tract infection. So you don't want that to be too, too short, not shaved bald. So you kind of, that's what you do. You kind of go toward the tummy and leave a little bit of that hair. 
with boys in particular, you want to take that hair at least up to where their rib, see how her rib cage is really deep here? And then we come up. So you want to take boys really short to about there because when they're urinating, they can spray all of that hair. Uh, especially if they're under sexual maturity and they're still squatting to pee and they're going to get it all in that hair and that's yucky. So we want to, we want to make sure we get rid of that. I am going to take some of that hair out on Hera as well. I just like the cleanliness. You can also lift the leg here and take a little bit out underneath. Although I did do it from the back as much as I really need to. Another thing you can do is pull their armpit forward and do a little bit, just a little bit of a shave underneath the armpit. If you find that your dog likes to mat in there from the, just from that wearing of walking, it depends on your dog's coat. So that's the body, feet, and sanitary portion of your average Australian Labradoodle. If you go back, we've done the uh, brushing video. And if you go back beyond that, we've done how to groom the head. Okay, so this is a grown out head from the shape that we would have done in the head grooming video. So that's that's what it looks like when it grows out. A little, you know, it's covering the eyes a little bit. It's falling forward a little too much. This is quite long, but it's still maintaining that overall shape that we want to see in our Australian Labradoodles. We don't groom the tail, okay, other than what I said right here. There's no need to come in and mess with the tail. Their tails are beautiful. Just leave them the way they are. Keep them dematted. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. If you have more questions about what I've done here, if it's more, something more particular to your dog and their type of hair, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss a new video when we post it. And happy grooming. I wish you all the best. And I hope to hear from you if you have any troubles or just if you really like the video, let me know. And anything else you want to hear from us, let me know. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.